Let's start with King's Bounty, The Legend. Some of you don't even realize that everyone's favorite Heroes of Might and Magic game was based on King's Bounty released in 1990s. Take a look at this ancient beauty, you can see the similarities quite easily. Second part of King's Bounty, named The Legend, was released by a different company in 2008, and it was an instant hit. So the new King's Bounty 2 that will be released this year is actually King's Bounty 3. Those shenanigans with numbers can mess up your mind better than vodka. So anyway, King's Bounty The Legend is proud owner of very positive reviews on Steam and I can confirm that it is really nice game to play for a fan of Heroes of Might and Magic. Gameplay as we are used to is divided into two major sections, Adventure Mode and Battle Mode. Battles take place on land or sea, in dungeons, castles or even in some items. The hero himself does not participate in combat but can assist his troops by casting spells or summoning different creatures. So basically this game is just a another Heroes 3 but with a different name. Also keep in mind that King's Bounty has a lot of expansions and standalone DLCs released so many hours of playtime awaits you if you choose this game to kill your time. And King's Bounty 2 which will be released in August of 2021 is a bit different and took a more original approach. Here you will no more find flat arenas. Realistic volumetric battlefields are now integral part of combat, creating maximum tactical diversity. All manner of obstacles and features can be found on the combat maps. Every battle now has its own unique tactical advantages and disadvantages. So now landscape matters more than ever before. You know, the usual, when you are high, then you have an advantage. This will force you to consider your surroundings before entering combat to minimize potential risks. Also, a new character development system is introduced. You will be given three heroes to choose from, each with their own unique story. As you explore the realm, their stories change as they align themselves with different ideals, strength, art, order and anarchy. When I read that, I was, haha, art, that's lame. What will you do with that, paint your face in scary colors? And then I remembered how dangerous an artist can be. Remember Adolf? Age of Wonders 3 this franchise will always have a warm place in my cold Eastern European heart. Here you can create an empire in your own image and rule as one of six RPG-style leader classes, develop your kingdom and arsenal. People in comments are saying that this game feels like civilization had a baby with Heroes of Might and Magic and that is great. Although Age of Wonders is fun to play, it doesn't feel very balanced. The game emphasizes warfare and exploration but doesn't give you enough resources to actually do these things without waiting forever and AI is like your wife. Cheating. Right. Yeah, so you have to be an actually better tactician than computer controlled opponent because you will never get it by surprise. Disciples 2 Gold Set in a magical realm of the sacred lands, four races, the Empire, the Mountain Clans, the Legions of the Damned and the Undead Hordes battle for the destiny of their gods. Here you will find all the campaigns and hundreds of hours of gameplay in one adventure package. You can buy it on GOG.com for about 8 euros. That is an equivalent to about 27 kilograms of carrots in my city of Vilnius or one cheap vodka bottle. Although we all can survive without carrots, I'm not so sure if I can say the same about vodka, so choose wisely. To encourage you, I can say that this version includes the original Disciples 2 Dark Prophecy and all expansion packs. Guardians of the Light, Servants of the Dark, Acolytes of Long Ding Dong and Rise of the Elves. Well, at least three of those four are definitely in the pack. Disciples 2 is a dark fantasy game, really dark and gloomy with wonderful artworks, really long, not a ding dong this time, but a campaign where you can transfer your hero from one map to another, just like we are used to in Heroes of Might and Magic campaigns. Only negative thing about this game is that it's quite old. When this game was released, you were young and beautiful and now you are… you know, let's not talk about that. Fallen Enchantress it is a huge fantasy strategy game where you can recruit heroes, go on quests, train armies, build cities and forge alliances. Nice feature is the map generator allowing you to create a new world each time you play. And you can create your own worlds with modding tools as well. Although keep in mind that at first this game may be a bit overwhelming to get into and it may be hard to understand all the mechanics. But do not let that discourage you. 10 minutes later you will be a pro player, no doubt. Who are you? I'm you 10 minutes from now.
Damn it, you are handsome. <laughs> Reviews are positive. Some people are even saying that they like Fallen Enchantress more than Heroes games. I'm not buying that. Yeah, Heroes 3 with HD mod and Horn of the Abyss expansion is unbeatable and definitely has way more stuff in it than Fallen Enchantress will ever have. Anyway, the game is really nice and can catch your attention for a few days at least. Disciples 3 Although not as loved as the second part, just like you are not as loved as your other siblings in your family, the third incarnation of Disciples is still a nice game that will offer free playable races with unique skills and styles. It also has really beautiful graphics, which in my opinion is the best part of this game. Dark fantasy is my thing. I wish that next part of Heroes of Might and Magic took a turn to the dark side, but that will probably never happen. We will get a happy, colorful, undead instead. Anyway, here in Disciples you will create a custom hero and lead your party into battle with a huge variety of creatures. Game also offers more than 450 weapons, spells and artifacts with unique abilities and traits. Here you'll find 19 missions spread across 3 campaigns that will take about 70 hours away from your boring life. Also, a local multiplayer is included so you can play the game together with your mother-in-law. Age of Wonders, Planetfall. Emerge from the cosmic dark age of a fallen galactic empire to build a new future for your people. Here you will build your kingdom with one of six unique factions, ranging from the militant vanguard to the dinosaur riding amazons, cyborg zombies of the assembly and unicorn shark vampire elf kittens of death. Well, maybe not the latter, but I assure you that the diversity of units is really nice. Here you will progress through each faction's missions using your wits, military strength and diplomacy, exploring planetary ruins and encountering other survivors as you unravel the history of a shattered civilization. Game has a nice single player campaign and random skirmish maps. You can play the game alone or dive into multiplayer battles and feel the shame of defeat. Very positive reviews on Steam can confirm that this game is one of the best examples for you in this list. Warlock, Master of the Arcane Ye will take the role of a great mage, a warlord vying for ultimate power. Your mission is to build an empire, expand your borders, research new spells, conquer your enemies and become the ultimate warlock and rule all over the Ardania. Here you can research and master dozens of spells, conjure powerful enchantments and discover different spell combinations. So I guess you can create your own version of Fetus Delitus here. Oh, oh, I have one good spell for you. Listen. Vodkus Aperus, Autus of Thin Eros. Yeah, that's real vodka bender magic right there. In Warlock there are various ways to achieve victory by military, diplomatic and magical means. Game is very proud of its city management system where there are no routine actions and every decision counts. Well, almost every. We both know that you will make some dumb decisions that will hurt you and your allies instead. This very the version of a game has very positive reviews on Steam and includes a lot of additional content. And keep in mind that Warlock 2 is also released, but the game receives way less love than the first part. Just like you, when growing up, received less love from your parents than your family dog. So, I don't know. If you played both parts, please share your experience in the comment section. I personally can vouch only for the first part. Sorcerer King Rivals Armed with a powerful artifact, you aim to challenge the malevolent Sorcerer King, a being who has devastated the land, filled it with ruins and his evil minions. Here you will find a rich world to explore and can choose from 8 civilizations to play, including the Endless Knight, the Dwarfs of the Frozen Realm and the Men of Altar. And you probably expect me to say something about Penis People Tribe. You have some shame, jeez. You discover ancient dungeons, lost temples, haunted villages and lead your army to adventures with danger and treasure. Also you can use the included map editor to create your own unique world or let the game randomly generate one for endless replayability. Well, to clear things out, endless means that you will do that at least twice. Although be warned that many players are saying that the game is buggy, so don't expect miracles and better hunt it on a sale. Eador series 
first part named Genesis is clearly the most loved title of them all. With very positive reviews on Steam it really shows its dominance over other parts. You know, just like you show your dominance when you come to visit the parents of your girlfriend or wife and suddenly you have to pee. So you go to the toilet and pee as loudly as you possibly can so all her family could hear that I'm the boss. Yeah, show them who's alpha here. Your mother-in-law really digs that shit. Anyway, Eador. Despite the fact that this game has a great depth and gameplay, graphics are from past millennium. I think cavemen did a better job by painting on the walls. Units here are not even animated. I can't think of many people who would like that. So if you are a lover of more modern graphics, try Eador Masters of the Broken World instead, or its younger sister named Imperium, which has a bit better review score and stays in the range of positive. Nothing like your real sister. In Imperium you will find all new and handcrafted story campaigns, new heroes and new units. Imperium also includes all the original content from Masters of the Broken World except the campaign. So as always, add them to your wishlist and wait for a sale. Endless Legend yeah, you will evolve your civilization through discovery of new advanced technologies, collect dust, luxuries and strategic resources tradable on the marketplace and keep one step ahead of other eight civilizations through trade and subtle diplomacy or eradicate your puny enemies using unit equipment, abilities and the terrain to overcome your opponents. Also, you can just zoom out of a battle and rule the other aspects of your empire seamlessly. Game has quite high replayability because of randomly generated worlds and quests. You can set the size, shape and topography of your new world and even create new civilizations. Also, all existing ones are really different with entirely different mechanics. You can play alone or with friends. Game has very positive reviews on Steam and that is understandable because the game, despite its release in the year of 2014, is still being updated constantly. Also, Endless Legend is not computer power hungry. It even runs quite smoothly even if you have a potato PC that is below minimum requirements. How cool is that? You know, that reminds me of this situation when you are a shy boy with glasses and a terrible sweater and you approach some fancy girl. A girl that is definitely above your league, where a guy like you is no doubt below her minimum requirements, but you gather all your courage and bravely ask her out without any hopes or dreams. But then she turns to you, brushes her beautiful hair away, smiles at you seductively licks her lips and then says I'm sorry I, I don't know how to put this nicely that is not a nice way to put it you're a fucking nerd yeah I'm sorry for this unexpected ending but we never lie in this channel if you are below her league you are below her league this is the real world so minimum requirements here are the real deal as well it's nothing like endless legend and for the end, I want to share great news about one really intriguing upcoming game. Gregory Fulton, lead designer of Heroes 3, is working on spiritual successor to the title. Although for now, only some sketches exist. I wrote a letter to the man asking if he can share something with us. He wrote me back and replied that for now the game is in the concept stage and he will probably share something with us next year. I cannot wait. Although the game is named Fanstratix and that is a a really really terrible name I'm sorry Greg but anyway we all love you that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with more epic lists like that bye